Hi, Hiram here. Last couple of days I've been doing tests on this Survival EDC Ultralight Titanium Alcohol Stove. Uh, Startup tests, boil tests. But basically this stove is just a knockoff of the ever new Titanium Alcohol Stove, but for way less than half the price. In the last test, we had some problems because uh, there's no wicking inside this like there is on the Evernew uh, to bring the alcohol up so it makes startup on this very slow. The last test I did was with using a primer pan where I put I think I put three milliliters of methanol in here which turned out to be way too much and then using the Evernew titanium cross piece for a boil test <coughs> excuse me I got a comment or a suggestion from BSA on Belay suggesting that would you try it without the cross stand but still with the primer pan I think you'll get even better results now what BSA on Belay is talking about is taking the pot and put it right on the burner I've been told from a couple of other people that that's the simmer mode on this burner or rather on the ever new burner but you know the knockoff of this one that this doing this is putting it into a simmer mode if you use it with the stand this kind of goes back to the old sweet spot with the stand there's about one inch between the jets and the bottom of the pot if you take this out and put the pot right on you only have about a half of an inch so that really changes how well it heats up but I thought I'd give it a try today uh, do it without the stand and see just what does happen. I'll get some water prepped. I'll do it again with the two fluid ounces or 60 milliliters of methanol in the stove. This time I'm only going to take out two, about two milliliters to use in the primer pan instead of the three that I did before. But let me get this stuff prepped and I'll be back for a test. Okay, so I've got my water prepped, two cups sitting at 60 degrees. I've taken out two milliliters of the methanol of the uh, 60 milliliters that I put in the stove let me put that in the primer pan okay, that's all in there primer pan is centered like that and hopefully when that gets up it'll light the burner I'll put on the two cups of water starting at 60 degrees as you can see <clears throat> the uh, methanol in the primer pan is doing real good I don't see any flames coming out of the jets yet so it's just all the primer hopefully before the primer pan goes out it will light the jets we're going on to 30 seconds, the temperature's up to 75, that's just from the primer. Okay, it looks like it's enlarging here, so it may be the jets are pushing out vapors now. It's really pumping it out now. But again, it's the flames on the outside edge. <clears throat> I don't see any actual flames coming up through the jets. have to wait until the primer goes out. Working on a minute. Now this again was two milliliters of methanol in the, I think you can see it, some of it is condensing off the pan and then dripping onto the table. Again, that's why I use a concrete board here. Kind of looks like two milliliters of alcohol is too much for the primer pan. Okay, the primer pan is going out now and it's just the jets. It's a different kind of a flame with the pot sitting right on the stove but we're already up to 103 degrees and now the flames from the stove are taking over so let's see how long it takes for this uh, don't go out don't go out so it's just the flames on the jets now and we're up to 108 degrees Fahrenheit so let's see how long it takes for this to get to a boil There we have 210, 211. Come on. 
212 at 807. Okay. A little long for that one, but as you can see, it's a nice little flame. But again, this is considered by a lot of people as the simmer mode, although it still brings the water to a boil, so it's not a true simmer mode, but it's a lower flame. That was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, room temperature 78, humidity 63, partly cloudy and breezy out, and it brought it to a boil in 8 minutes 7 seconds. Go over the rest of it later, but let's see how long it takes for this uh, two fluid ounces to run out. Okay, there we're going. Going. Just about there. Come on. Okay, and they're going out, let's say, at 32.49. Wow. So, what we have there was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 8 minutes, 7 seconds, and then continued to run till 32 minutes, 49 seconds. So, obviously, it doesn't need the two fluid ounces in here. On previous tests, when I did it using the cross stand, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, uh, using the primer pan, come to a, came to a boil in 4 minutes 50 seconds, and then ran out at 16 minutes 26 seconds. So using this burner and putting the pot right on it seems to be, although it's slow, it seems to be a pretty efficient way of doing it. Hmm, interesting. Again, like I said, two fluid ounces or 16 or 60 milliliters is not needed in this. Wow, that was something. So I thank BSA on Belay for suggesting that. Um, if you don't mind a little bit of time. And when you're out in the woods hiking and camping, time isn't supposed to be all that important. So this would be, looks like it would be a good way to get this heated up. So anyway, I thank BSA on Belay for the suggestion. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.